This is the story of a man named Vey, Dr. Thaddeus Q. Vey, a neuroscientist who has discovered a way to manipulate collective memory. Most people have never heard of him, or rather, they have, but he has manipulated their memories to make them forget that they ever have. While working on NASA's top secret Operation Soy Bomb, involving future one-way space flights beyond our realm, Dr. They devised the technique to change specific memories, which would allow astronauts to complete their mission without being weighed down by thoughts of life back on Earth. His memory manipulations have run the gamut, from Holocaust denial to corporate product recognition to making people forget he himself once starred as an irrepressible genie in a movie called Kablam. Dr. Thay has not been heard of for many years, but rumors swirl that he was at the last presidential inauguration, where, amongst the hundreds of millions who attended, he was seen occupying the last remaining seat available. And as to his motivations for being there, and what exactly he is up to now, we have no way of knowing. Or perhaps we once did, but have since been made to forget. You like that? I made it. It's my new platform, Phony Fake News. Go ahead. No, Mr. President-elect. Go, go Mr. ahead. Mr. President-elect, since you are attacking no, our news not organization, you. Not can you. you give us a chance? Your organization. You're, you are attacking our news organization. Your organization. Can you give us a chance Let's to ask go. a question, sir? Go ahead. Sir, can Quiet. you state... Can, Quiet. Mr. President-elect, go ahead. Can you state categorically... Mr. Don't be President-elect, rude. can you give us a question? Don't be rude. You're attacking us. Can you give us a question? Don't be rude. Can you no, give I'm us a question? I'm you, not going to give you a can question. You sta- can you state categorically... You are fake news. Sir, go ahead. can you state categorically that nobody... No, Mr. President-elect, that's not go appropriate. Ahead. You like that? I made it. It's my new platform, Phony Fake News. It's a presentation of real facts, but in a way that assures no one will believe any of it. Can you give us a question? Go ahead. Since you're, no, Mr. President-elect. Go ahead. Mr. President-elect, ahead. since you are attacking no, our news not organization, you. Not can you give us a chance? Your organization You are attacking our news organization. Your organization Can you give us a chance Let's to ask go. a question, sir? Go ahead. Sir, can Quiet. you state... Quiet. Can, Quiet. Mr. President-elect, go ahead. Can you state categorically... Can a question? Don't Mr. Be President-elect, rude. can you give us a question? Don't be rude. You're attacking us. Can you give us a question? Don't be rude. Can you no, give us a question? I'm you, not going to give you a can question. You sta- can you state categorically? You are fake news. Sir, go ahead. Can you state categorically that nobody. No, Mr. President elect, that's not go appropriate. Ahead. People of power thought that they could keep their secrets secret and were willing to do anything to keep it that way. Awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Because you'd be in jail. Ah! Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Because you'd be in jail. Secretary Clinton. Ah, yeah! Woo! Yeah! I love Trump! Good, he's coming through. You want to remind the people of power thought that they could keep their secrets secret and were willing to do anything to keep it that way? But these are past, gone. We're now living in a post cover up, post conspiracy age. As long as the truth gets out. Care whether the truth gets out? Because the public no longer knows what's meant by the truth. Well, I mean, no one can tell the difference anymore between what's real and what's fake. There's still an objective truth, an objective reality. (laughs) So what? I mean, you take this Mandela effect. Well, in the old days, I would never have come out and admitted to you Yes, I can change people's collective memories, and that would have meant that I can control the past. And if that's true, well, as Orson Welles once said, he who controls the past controls the future. It was George Orwell that said that. 
I can tell you all of this right out in the open because it doesn't matter who knows about it. They won't know whether to believe it or not. To be honest, I'm not believing any of this. Well, believe what you want to believe. That's what everybody does nowadays. Anyway, you're only proving my point. You're right. I can't control people's minds. Although it turns out you don't really have to. All you need is some people to think it's possible. And then you've sown the seeds of uncertainty. All you really need is a laptop. So that's what this has all been about? The spread of online disinformation? Maybe. Our current president once said something truly profound. He said, nobody knows for sure. What was he referring to? What does it matter? Tonight only on Fox, some childhood memories are so vivid you remember them perfectly. But what if those memories are wrong? And thousands of others have the exact same false memories. The internet is buzzing about this new phenomenon that's called the Mandela Effect. Christy Siefkin looks into this bizarre theory. When you left the house today, did you remember to lock the door, turn off the coffee pot, unplug the curling iron? We all doubt our memories sometimes, but even when you're positive that you remember something, turns out there's a good chance you're wrong. What? Oh my goodness. All of us fall victim to false memory. Dr. Jean Brewer is an associate professor of psychology at Arizona State University. He and his team study memory through experiments and neuroimaging. We all misremember things and we do it in a stereotypical way. Our systems work very similarly to one another. So I may have a false memory, you may have a false memory, and they, those could be very similar to one another. Just look online and you'll find thousands of people sharing the exact same false memories. This phenomenon is called the Mandela Effect, a term coined by blogger Fiona Broom. Broom discovered she and many others shared the same distinct memory, Nelson Mandela dying in a South African prison in the 1980s. Except Mandela really died in 2013 and in the comfort of his own home. Oh, shoot. According to the Mandela Effect, there are several pop culture memories we all seem to get wrong. Take, for example, the iconic Queen song, We Are the Champions. We are the champions. We've all chimed in at the bar, belting out that famous last line. Because we are the champions of the world. But we've been singing it wrong. The lyrics of the world aren't even in the last line. We are the champions. I think it's a lie. It has to be. It's like a legendary song. Another memory we can't get right, the Monopoly Man. Maybe you don't know what his name is. It's Rich Uncle Pennybags. But surely you know what he looks like. Which of these is the correct picture? Which is the Monopoly Man? Which is the correct Monopoly Man? Uh, the one with the uh, eyeglass. You can see he's going to be voted for him. Yeah, he's going to drain the swamp. Get all those golden sacks people out of the White House.